Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss electronic devices and circuits, time based circuits, time based circuits. A linear time based generator is one that provides an output waveform, a portion of which exhibits a linear variation of voltage or current within time, current with time, okay. A linear time based generator is one that provides an output waveform, a portion of which exhibits a linear variation of voltage or current with the time. Here sweep generator is also known as time based generator or Swartooth wave generator or ramp generator. Sweep generator is also known as time based or Swartooth or ramp generator. Ramp generator. Here it is a general sweep general sweep this uh, the time this uh, time is called uh, sweep time and this decreasing uh, time is called return time okay this decreasing time is called return time okay and coming to the sweep speed <coughs> coming to the sweep speed what is the sweep speed the rate of change of sweep voltage with the time is called sweep speed the rate of change of sweep voltage with time is called sweep speed. And what is the slope speed error or sweep speed error? What is the slope or sweep speed error? Yes. This error is the deviation from the linearity of sweep speed. This error is deviation from the linearity of sweep speed. We know that sweep speed. Sweep, is, sweep speed is nothing but the rate of change of sweep voltage with the time. Sweep voltage with the time. Here the sweep speed error is nothing but this error is deviation from the linearity of sweep, uh, sweep speed. That is the slope error or sweep speed error ES equal to difference in the slope uh, difference in the slope at beginning and end of the sweep by initial value of the slope. Okay. The slope error is nothing but difference in the uh, slope at beginning and end of the sweep by initial value of the slope. And coming to the displacement error ED. Coming to the displacement error ED. Displacement error ED. Here it is the maximum difference between the actual sweep voltage and linear sweep. This is actual sweep voltage and this is the linear sweep this is linear sweep it is actual sweep voltage so the maximum difference between the that is vs minus vs dash max that means maximum difference between the actual sweep voltage this is actual sweep voltage vs and uh, uh, linear sweep voltage vs dash which pass through a beginning and ending points of the actual sweep which pass through the beginning and ending in ending points of the actual sweep okay what is the displacement error ed is nothing but difference between the actual sweep to linear sweep with respect to the actual sweep this is called displacement error okay once again what is the uh, uh, sweep generator is uh, also known as time based generator or swartooth wave generator or ramp generator what is the sweep speed the rate of change of sweep voltage with respect to the time is called sweep speed and what is the uh, slope error or sweep speed error is nothing but difference in the slope at beginning and end points of the sweep by initial value of the sweep what is the displacement error ed is nothing but maximum difference between the actual sweep to linear sweep with respect to the actual sweep is known as displacement error And next one, methods of generating a time based waveform. Methods of generating a time based waveform. Here, lot of methods for generating a time based waveform. First one is exponential charging. Exponential charging. In this uh, method, a capacitor is changed, a capacitor is charged through a resistor to a voltage which is small in comparison with the supply voltage which is small in comparison with the supply voltage here a capacitor is charged through a resistor to a voltage 
which is very small in comparison with the supply voltage okay here that means the capacitor is charged with through a resistor and it will gives a uh, time based waveform or Swartooth waveform and the second method by using constant current charging by using constant current charging third method by Miller circuit by Miller circuit in this Miller circuit an operational integrator is used to convert a step into ramp here in case of Miller circuit an operational integrator is used to convert a step into ramp step into ramp or Swartooth okay uh, by bootstrap circuit by using the bootstrap circuit also we can generate time based waveforms here in this uh, a constant current is approximated a constant current that is uh, a constant current is approximately maintaining nearly constant voltage across a fixed resistor in series with the capacitor a constant current is approximately by maintaining nearly constant voltage across a fixed resistor in series with the capacitor in series with the capacitor this is the bootstrap circuit here in this bootstrap circuit emitter follower is used in boot bootstrap sweep circuit here in this case of uh, in this uh, bootstrap circuit emitter follower is used okay these are the time based waveform or time based generators okay and next one IC triple five timer IC triple five timer the IC triple five timer is a timing circuit it is a timing circuit that can produce accurate and highly stable time delays or oscillations a, the triple five timer is a timing is a timing circuit that can produce accurate and highly stable time delays or oscillations the timer pin diagram is shown in below this is the pin diagram of triple five timer it has totally eight pins first pin is ground second one trigger third one is output fourth one is reset fifth one is control voltage sixth one is threshold seventh one is discharge eighth one is VCC eighth one is VCC so the triple five timer has totally eight pins eight pins okay and the triple five timer IC circuit is given below here this is the triple five timer IC circuit here the first first one the first pin is ground is connected here first pin ground and coming to the second pin it is a trigger circuit a uh, trigger input and next to third one is connected to output and fourth one is reset and then fifth one here this fifth one it is a control voltage and uh, fifth one is control voltage and sixth one is threshold and seventh one is discharge here the discharge discharge and eighth one is VCC eighth one is VCC here 2 by 3 VCC 1 by 3 VCC and uh, this is the schematic or uh, triple five timer IC unit IC unit okay and the IC triple five timer combines a relaxation oscillator relaxation oscillator and two comparators two comparators one is given to the uh, one uh, one one uh, for one comparator the uh, input is uh, 2 by 3 vcc for one comparator that is 1 by 3 vcc so it combines a relaxation relaxation oscillator two comparators and rs flip flop and a discharge capacitor and a discharge capacitor here the timer basically operates in one of the two modes either monostable or stable so the timer basically operates in one of the two modes either monostable or stable another name for monostable it is one shot i already explained in uh, multi vibrators uh, monostable the another name for monostable is one shot and a stable multi vibrator is also called as free running multi vibrator and uh, in the triple five timer in monostable mode in monostable mode this is the uh, connection diagram with the monostable mode uh, one resistor r1 and c1 
okay and here the output is stable only one state output is stable only one state okay mono means one so here the output is stable in only one state thus it can stay only for a finite time if triggered thus it can stay only for a finite time if triggered to the one to the other state this can uh, here the output is stable in only in one state so th thus it can stay only for a finite time if triggered to the other state this time can be choosing approximate values of resistance that is time t equal to 1.1 into r1 into c1 1.11 into r1 into c1 okay in uh, in case of uh, triple five timer in a stable mode in a stable mode here output is stable neither in high state nor in low state a stable th that means it has no stable state it has only two quasi stable state so that's why here the output is stable neither in high state nor in low state neither in high state nor in low state hence it oscillates from one state to another it oscillates from one state to another giving us square wave or clock giving us square wave or clock we can set the clock frequency and duty cycle this is a schematic diagram of triple five timer in a stable mode okay here it is the r1 it is r2 and it is the capacitor and it is the capacitor c1 capacitor c1 here the free clock frequency f equal to 1.44 by r1 plus 2r2 into c1 r1 plus 2r2 into c1 and duty cycle d equal to r1 plus r2 by r1 plus 2r2 r1 plus r2 by r1 plus 2r2 and uh, triple five timer can be used to produce time delays alarms and ramp outputs triple five timer can be used to produce time delays alarms and ramp circuits ramp outputs okay ramp outputs okay okay friends thank you in the next video i will discuss remaining parts of electronic devices and circuits okay thank you